Making Ollus, the ultimate irrigation system. Step-by-step -step guide. Welcome everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of Ollas, an ancient yet incredibly efficient irrigation system. Follow along as we craft our own Ollas step-by-step. -step. First off, we need to block the drainage hole. Here, I'm using some tape to hold cement in place. Don't forget to add a small stone inside the hole for added reinforcement. Let the cement dry overnight. Next, join the two pots together using tiling adhesive or cement. Allow it to dry for two days and voila! Your Ola is ready for action. Now it's time to test our Ollas. Fill them with water and observe how they slowly release it overnight. This demonstrates how they'll provide water to your plants when needed. Once you've tested your Ollas, it's time to put them into the ground. Dig a hole slightly larger than the Olle and leave about two inches above the ground level. Perfect for our tomato plants. But how does Ola irrigation work? Well, when the soil around the Ola is dry, it pulls water through the pot's walls, providing moisture to the roots. Conversely, when the soil is already wet, no water is pulled through. This ensures your plants get just the right amount of water, making Ollas incredibly efficient. In fact, Olla irrigation is considered one of the most efficient watering systems out there. It can save up to 50-70% of water usage compared to traditional methods. Plus, it encourages stronger root growth and minimizes water loss through evaporation or runoff. Do DIY Ollas really work? Absolutely. In my own experiment, I found that filling the Ollas just one, two times per week led to healthier plants and significantly reduced water usage. It's truly a game changer for any gardener. And there you have it, folks. Your guide to making and using Ollas, the ultimate irrigation solution. Happy gardening. <music>